we were not able to uh, face one of this british and the portuguese people one of the reasons according to me is that at that time sea warfare and other things in the field of sea we were not able to match by opposing these people defeating these people so i am always in my mind the the aspect is there now i am very happy that three days back in one newspaper i had occasion to read that 70000 or something for warships navy the government is allotted and we are concentrating that on that today within few minutes budget will be introduced and i hope we are more concentrating on navy now our navy as far as the entire world is concerned it is marching and proudly we can say our navy is able to face any challenges in, uh, from any countries and protecting the sovereignty of our country we can much depend on our uh, military as a whole and especially the role of uh, navy is also increasing day by day in today's ever changing geo geopolitical landscape where nations face numerous challenges and complexities the launch of warship is a clear demonstration of our nation's readiness and commitment to safeguard our interests amid shifting global dynamics the launch of this majestic warship sends a powerful message that our nation remains committed to peace i am focusing world peace and uh, stability and protecting our integrity and sovereignty of our ancient great nation it is a flux of our steadfast dedication in maintaining a strong and capable defense force prepared to respond to any threat or aggression furthermore the launch of warship serves as a unifying force crossing political boundaries and fostering pride and patriotism through the nation it remains as as that the respect for diverse backgrounds we stand together as one nation devoted to protecting our values freedom and of course future it symbolizes our resolve to negotiate the complexities of the global stage preserving our strength and asserting our rightful place in the international community it under it underscores our government's commitment to national defense innovation strategic partnership regional development and global peacekeeping efforts today our nation stands at the cusp of remarkable growth as i see the indian defense shipbuilding is self led designing and construction of most advanced vessels for defense requirements i am also happy to note that we have resolved to shed the tag of importers and have even begun exporting our platform across the globe we are the fifth largest economy in the world and now it is assured that we will be the third within few months we have set our eyes to be fully developed nation by 2047 and all our efforts are channelized to wait it in the near future the naval ensign will proudly fly on board this mighty warship being launched today i am happy to note that progress of construction made by baba shipyard in the last 2 3 years and I, i and i must admit that i am overwhelmed with the might and elegance of this magnificent vessel about to be launched that is why i use the word dynamic while mentioning about the present chairman this project is indeed prestigious for the entire state of goa the project is a stepping stone for the cpr to construct weapon incentive and technologically advanced warships in the future and will bluster 
the Alman Rupar Bharat objective of our Honorable Prime Minister. I am informed that two vessels being constructed at the GSL are follow on ships, uh, ships of the Teggan Talwar class acquired from Russia. In line with the Make in India initiative, a large percentage of the equipment fit including weapons and sensors is of indigenous origin. Indigenous projects like this will not only enable self-reliance but also provide employment opportunities on large scale, improve skill set of employees and spill over the, these benefits to the industries including MSMES. I am very pleased to note that GSL is consistently achieving a positive growth trajectory in their operations as a defense shipbuilding unit. Goa Shipyard, which started a small boat repair facility in 1957, over the years has not only produced state of the art of warships for Navy and Coastal Guard, but also delivered fuel barges, damage control training facility, sail training ship, harbor tax, etc., etc. I am introduced, I am informed that ESL now has a capability to build 14 vessels concurrently. I am also informed that ESL, with its notable history of exports in the past, has been investing large amount of efforts on resources in gathering export orders from friendly countries. Very recently, Shipyard has also bagged export order for the dredger from Europe. I would like to wish the Shipyard all the very best in its contribution to the state of Goa and its service to our motherland. The launch ceremony today has a meaning that is deeper than the oceans and carries a clear message that India will continue to invest and build her maritime power for its secure and prosperous tomorrow. Before concluding, I once again congratulate the Indian Navy, ESL, and everyone involved in the construction and launch of this magnificent warship. All those who have toiled hard to bring this ship is its present state and made her ready for land. Nation is proud of you. May, may this mighty worship prove Jalameva Yasya, Balameva Satasya. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. To be here this morning to witness the launching of Yard 1258 at the Goa Shipyard Limited. This occasion is sure to be etched specially in the history of the Indian Navy and the Goa Shipyard Limited who together have worked very hard to make this complex project a reality, surmounting several challenges of diverse nature in the making of the ship. With this cardinal event completed, I am sure the vessel will be ready as per contractual timelines to clutch in all her gas turbine engines, deploy in areas far and wide, and deliver ordnance on target with precision in protecting our national interests. First and foremost, I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the workforce of the Goa Shipyard Limited, whose sweat, industry, and workmanship have turned sheets of tough indigenous steel into this very fine and resolute warship. Their commitment and dedication are evident from the fact that the key laying of this vessel and the full hull construction were pursued despite severe constraints imposed by the pandemic and an uncertain and volatile geopolitical situation. India's vast coastline extends strategically into the Indian Ocean and provides us the freedom to conduct seaborne trade through some of the busiest sea lines of communication of the world. With the Indian Navy emerging as the first responder and the preferred security partner in the Indian Ocean region and, marit and the maritime dimension of India's security becoming ever more crucial to national development and economic prosperity, 
It is very important for our Navy to be modernized and equipped with the best platforms, weapons and sensors always. This state of the art frigate will add significant strength to the Indian Navy's contribution to peace, security and stability in the Indian Ocean region. The ship is intended to be called Triput after the mighty sword and will aptly symbolize the indomitable spirit and determination of the Indian Navy and its ability to strike far and strike deep. Triput is indeed a symbol of our commitment to safeguard our nation's maritime interests and ensure the safety and security of our vast coastline. The country at large and the Indian Navy in particular are focused on indigenous shipbuilding and supporting the Indian industry in line with the Make in India endeavor of the Government of India. Triput is the indigenous effort of the Russian-made Talwar and Pace classes of ships and is a proud flag bearer of the Atmanir Bharta initiative of the government. The ship boasts of not just indigenous steel, but also of Indian-made weapons and sensors and Indian industry developed controls, steering and stabilizer systems. The GSL over the last decades has been a strong and reliable partner of the Indian Navy and today's launch is testimony to a long and productive association. The NOPVs delivered by the shipyard have been workhorses of the Indian Navy for years and have seen extended deployments ranging from anti-piracy patrols on the high seas to non-combatant evacuation operations in distant locations to anti-narcotic operations well out from our coastline. Today, the GSL is a vital strategic asset and is poised to grow even more in national importance in the years to come. As this warship touches water for the first time in a short while from now, may she draw strength and support from the prayers of every single Indian and keep every member of our crew safe, sound and successful. May she save with unwavering determination in a few short months from now, protecting our nation's maritime boundaries and national interests and upholding the values of duty, honor and courage that we all hold so dear. May she also serve as a powerful testament of our unflinching commitment to, man, to national maritime security and to our vision of a prosperous and secure future for all in the region. On this momentous occasion, ladies and gentlemen, I acknowledge with deep appreciation and gratitude the support and contribution of the project planners, the overseeing team, the quality assurance organizations and trial agencies in the execution of this project. I'm confident that the ship will be delivered to the Indian Navy on schedule, meeting all our expectations in terms of build quality and equipment performance. I wish the Goa Shipyard Limited continued success in all future endeavors and congratulate its workforce for yet another remarkable achievement. Thank you very much. Shanya Varana Jahan. Good morning to you all. It's a matter of immense pride and privilege for me to welcome you all to the launching ceremony of first of the class vessel of P11356 frigate being built at Goa Shipyard. This prestigious project represents the largest warship construction program that Goa Shipyard has embarked upon in its illustrious history of 67 years. This landmark launching events marks a momentous occasion for Goa Shipyard, for the Indian shipbuilding industry and for the nation Make in India initiative. I am indeed very grateful to Honorable Governor of Goa, Sri Sridharan Pilleji, for consenting to be the chief guest for this event today. We are honored that this prestigious event is being presided over by His Excellency and that his good lady, Sri Mati Rita Sridharan Pillay, shall be performing the launching ceremony. His Excellency's engagement in public life 
his contribution to the society at large, his immense contribution to the legal field, and not to mention, sir, his writing credits to his name, which traverse to a range of subjects, be it history, politics, law, or poetry, is indeed an inspiration to all of us. We could not have asked for a more distinguished luminary for gracing this event. This ceremony is traditionally done by the lady and today we are really privileged to have Srimati Advocate Rita Sridharan, an eminent lawyer herself, to, this, to do this honor for us. Distinguished presence of Vice Chief of Naval Staff, Controller of Barsa Production and Acquisition, ACWPA, in this event is a singular honor for GSL and we are extremely grateful for the same. Ladies and gentlemen, with the initiation of this program, Goa Shipyard had joined a select league of yards in the country having capabilities to construct advanced and complex warship platforms. With this notable leap in capabilities, the nation's domestic warship construction capacity has significantly been strengthened with the addition of a new production line at Goa Shipyard for construction of weapon intensive platform such as new generation corvettes, missile frigates. The two warships once fully built will be a formidable and potent platform for the Indian Navy with a mission spanning covering the entire spectrum of naval warfare, air, surface and subsurface domains. We are grateful to the Indian Navy and Ministry of Defense for trust reposed in Goa Shipyard for the implementation of this prestigious project. I am also thankful for the support which has been given by us by Russian technical and design team. Launch of this state-of-the-art platform is a symbol of Goa Shipyard commitment and dedication towards its customer and in meeting the nation's security requirements. The focus efforts put in by the entire team GSL in achieving this milestone today in collaboration with Indian industry, Russian experts and of course with the unwavering support of the local Barship overseeing team are indeed commendable. In the course of bringing this platform to the present stage of launching today, the team has successfully surmounted numerous challenges starting with the unprecedented COVID during 2020-2021, the pandemic caused severe disturbances in the global supply chain. Thereafter, we witnessed the Russia-Ukraine conflict which began from February 2022 severely affecting our supply chain uh, arrangement. Not withstanding all these hurdles, I am proud of the fact that Team GSL has been able to pull together with utmost zeal and hard work to make this historic launching today possible. Keeping in line with our Honorable Prime Minister vision of Atmirvar Bharat, I am pleased to report that this advanced vessel will have indigenous content of over 55%. As part of the first positive indigenization list issued by Ministry of Defense, 23 major equipment of this project were taken up and have been successfully indigenized, which includes critical weapons, sensors, as well as equipment like fish stabilizer, steering gear system, to name a few. It is a matter of pride that substantial import substitution has been undertaken for this project, providing a huge boost to the local industry, including MSME. I would like to take this opportunity to also appraise this August gathering about some other project Goa Shipyard is progressing with. We, uh, we are constructing two number pollution control vessels for Indian Coast Guard. By doing this, GSL has entered into this niche segment of product portfolio. Construction of both the vessels are progressing rapidly and I am pleased to uh, share that we will be launching the first vessel of the series shortly, maybe within this month. The other major building programs being executed by GSL is seven number new generation offshore petrol vessels, eight number fast petrol vessels in addition to other program for the local customers. 
as far as export is concerned we are executing a project of construction of 4000 ton floating dock for our friendly country and hull construction of that platform is in advanced stage i am also pleased to submit that we have recently made an entry into commercial foreign shipbuilding business by winning a contract for construction of next generation dredgers for a luxembourg based company in this refit segment during the year ship revision division has completed five vessels comprising of two ships of indian coast guard one ship for indian navy and two commercial vessels we have also been signed an agreement with the us navy for carrying out repairs of their ships as part of diversification strategy gsl is embarking on various futuristic r&d project in strategic and niche technology domains we have been putting continuous efforts and focus to further expand our product portfolio and business in new markets for sustainable growth and optimum utilization of newly created infrastructure we are also forging partnership with other psc's and industry players for quickly expanding our reach through resource sharing and towards development of niche competencies we are developing a prototype autonomous boat for indian navy to be exploited for mcm and asw operations in line with india maritime vision 2030 fully electric trucks and hybrid dredgers are another addition to our diversified portfolio to tap the upcoming opportunities in this segments coming back to today's launching of this vessel i would like to place on record my appreciation for the constructive role played by the unions and associations the unions have ensured a positive almari teak launch almari teak launch made in russia and brought to india from there This is the first ship that has been constructed in India of the same class. So this will uh, add a lot of strength uh, to the Indian Navy's ability in the coming years to uh, maintain peace, stability, and security in the Indian Ocean region. Uh, this is a very modern warship that packs uh, capabilities uh, in all dimensions: uh, surface, air, and subsurface. So, so it is likely to be a very, very powerful warship uh, that can play multiple roles. in defense of the country and therefore i think it will be a very very important day for the indian navy uh, and indeed for the nation sir brahmaputra ke aapka jo incident hua hai mumbai mein i'm not aware of what happened there jo hua hai jo public domain mein sabhi ko pata hai aapko pata hai aur nahi humko pata hai so uh, it is a very uh, sad incident uh, but the navy can inquire into what happened and what is the corrective measure which we take to resolve the issue Uh, the ship had a fire, the oil was low, and uh, in fighting the fire, uh, a lot of water was used. Uh, perhaps because of that, uh, some of the stability of the ship may have gone down. And so the ship is just tilted to one side and is resting on the other. Uh, the ship can very well uh, be up, made upright. The uh, water can be pumped out and can do a damage assessment, and we can reset the ship. So one sailor is missing uh, from the ship. So, uh, What is the full update on that? So we don't know where the sailor is. Uh, he was seen coming out of the ship, and uh, he was seen in the water tank as well. Uh, we don't know what happened to him. Uh, certainly, there is a search for him, and there is a time to get him back. Thank you very much. ये गोवा से प्यार के लिए एक बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है कि हमने कॉम्प्लेक्स वार से ये पहली बार गोवा से प्यार बना रहा है और यहाँ के जो कामगार हैं और जो लोग हैं उन्होंने डिस्पाइट ऑफ बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस के बावजूद इसको समय पर पूरा किया और हम इसका एक ब्यूटीफुल लॉन्च देख सके ये सिप जो है जो रसिया में हमारे पास नेवी के छः से पैं तलवार क्लास उसका फॉलो ऑन वेसल है और इसमें जो कंप्लीट वेपन सेंसर्स वगैरह हैं वो सभी इंडिजिनस हैं तो एक उस हिसाब से इंडिया की वार्सिप कैपेबिलिटी के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा उदाहरण है सर आप बात करते समय आपने आगे के शिपमेंट्स और तरक्की के बारे में बात की है तो थोड़ा कुछ आज सिपियाट नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन में पुर्तगीज ने स्टार्ट किया था जैसे कि आपको पता है और हम स्लोली स्लोली पिछले छः डेकेट्स में हैं बहुत आगे बढ़े हैं और ये सिपियाड अभी मॉडर्नाइज हो गया है जिसमें हम एट ए टाइम चौदह सिप कनकरेंटली बना सकते हैं और इस सिपियाड की ग्रोथ आ, 2022 हज़ार से नेक्स्ट तीन साल में हम 4000 करोड़ के ऊपर लेके जाएंगे एनुअल ग्रोथ
हम लोग काफी कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेटफॉर्म पे काम कर रहे हैं इंडियन नेवी के साथ में इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड के साथ में और हम लोग जो है फॉरेन कंट्रीज के साथ में भी जो कमर्शियल शिप बिल्डिंग है एक बहुत बड़ा मार्केट है उसको हम अपने लिए जो है गोवा शिप के लिए कैप्चर करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और इस शुरुआत में हमको जून के पहले वीक में एक सफलता भी मिली जहां पे कि हम न्यू जनरेशन ड्रेजर का एक यूरोपियन क्लाइंट से ऑर्डर लेके आ पाए और अभी इसमें बहुत ज़्यादा पोटेंशियल है और नेक्स्ट चार साल में हम देखते हैं कि हमारा पंद्रह परसेंट रेवेन्यू एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर से आए हाँ लोकल्स के लिए बहुत बड़ा इको सिस्टम हम क्रिएट कर रहे हैं हमारा जो है गोवा वैसे भी कॉन्कन क्लस्टर यहाँ पे आया हुआ है और जो मरीन इकोसिस्टम गोवा का बहुत अच्छा है तो हम चाहते हैं कि जितने भी यहाँ के लोकल शिप बिल्डिंग इंडस्ट्रीज़ हैं और अदर एम सी एम एम एस एम ईज इंडस्ट्रीज़ हैं वो हमारे साथ ज्वाइन करें हमको सपोर्ट करें तो ना सिर्फ वो हमारी ग्रोथ में मदद करेंगे बल्कि एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन के लिए भी बहुत काम करेंगे क्योंकि एम इंडिया का बहुत ही बड़ा एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन की सोर्स है